Hey guys, today I want to talk about something I've wanted to talk about for a while. It's something that's just like always been on my mind. I don't want to script this or anything like that. I'm just going to talk off the top of my head. So if I make a few mistakes, if I leave things out, please uh, drop it in the comments below. We can talk about it. I would actually like this to be a discussion. But hey guys, before we get too far into this, there is a giveaway going on, on my Discord. If you join, all you have to do is click on one of these reactions over here and you can get a month worth of Nitro or three months if you get lucky. So if you are interested, you can join my Discord. Link's in the description below. So I'm guessing you've seen the title of the thumbnail, so you didn't know what I wanted to talk about. But Arknet is my favorite gacha game. Like, it really is. And I don't just mean that because oh, I make content for it. Uh, Arknet is actually one of my favorite gacha games because of a lot of different aspects and we'll go over them. One of the first things I'm going to point out is the character designs. Now, when I'm looking at all of this, there's something that you may notice amongst all of them, right? Um, none of these characters are sexualized in a sense, you know? They're all wearing proper uniform, proper clothing and things like that. Um, actually a lot of the time you can see a character wearing some type of jacket or overcoat and even if you look at the beach skins uh, which i did cover in another video they are amazingly designed they are well thought out they are designed really well um they look fashionable if anything right a lot of the time in other gotcha games they're just trying to sexualize the waifus get people to spend money um i mean it's a good business strategy people pay for anime titties i really love the story of arknights there's just so much of it and there's a lot of good world building and things like that. The only issue I do have with the Arknight story is, and I think everyone can agree with it, is the way it's told. Um, <laughs> it's not necessarily the best. So the story itself is very good. It's just how they are kind of giving it to us is not necessarily the best. The writing may be a bit off here and there. I mean, it can be confusing sometimes when you like jump back and forth between times, but it's really cool. You take on the role of the doctor and as the doctor, what you do is you command a unit, right? So you bring your squad and you take and you take them out and what you have is an amazing thing called auto deploys. So you do the stage in your own way, but what that does is it actually records kind of the way you do it and that's how the stage is done from now on and when you redo the stage with new units you change the way you play the stage and you re redo it so Arknights is not just something that you put a bunch of stats into a bunch of characters and then you have the characters fight and you hope that you have enough numbers in your characters that they do more numbers than the enemy's numbers so it's actually really good it's tactical it's a thought process you can either get stuck on a stage or breeze through it and i think aut this auto deploy feature is one of the best because you feel like your auto is not like anyone else's auto you may use the exact same characters but you may do it in a completely different way it's your auto deploy it, you watch your tactics your strategy every time you go to farm a stage now i want to talk about the head hunting the head hunting is Mm, this is this is the rolling of this gotcha right because it's a gotcha game you have to roll for characters now the gotcha in this game is actually really good especially <laughs> coming from genshin recently uh genshin has been like a that that thing's a mess the gotcha is really nice it's a two percent for a six star which is not so bad that means like statistically speaking that means you get a six star every 50 rolls oh, yeah! And the game is not hard on giving you rolls. The game gives you rolls quite often. I've mostly been free to play and I've been getting pretty good rolls. The only thing I've ever actually bought for the past few months is the monthly card in the game, uh, which is like $5. One other thing I do want to talk about is the UI. The UI looks clean. The UI looks amazing. I love the UI. It's something that I have taken for granted because I've been playing Arknights for so long. But I mean, just look at this menu it looks so good doesn't it like like it just it's not trying to shove things in my face it's not trying to say hey would you like to go buy this right now it's it's designed in a way that looks simple and clean no kingdom hearts reference <laughs> okay i believe you. there's a lot of gotcha games that just like they fill your screen there's like it's mobile games mobile games in general they fill your screen they're like hey do you want this hey do you, look at this ad hey look at this thing do you want to buy gems sale right now five thousand arknights puts all of that into a small little corner the tiny little bottom left section over there they like literally put it all there they're like 
And they're like, eh, if you want to buy some things, please feel free. But like, don't, don't, don't go around and have, you don't have to, it's up to you. So that's another thing that I have to give them props for. Really, really good. Uh, I just want to be clear that I'm not saying other gotchas are bad. Every gotcha is in, every, every gotcha is like their own kind of style in their own kind of way why Arknights has so many characters and gives you so many things is because that's their playstyle you have 12 slots for characters in the game you don't have weapons or artifacts or things like that uh, equipment to enhance characters in most other games you have four to five slots and then you also got your uh, you also have gotchas for weapons and you equip them with the weapons and stuff so um it's just that different gotchas work different ways um Although, what I do want to say from Arknights that I don't like um, is that they're giving us a lot of events. They really are. They're giving us, they're making sure we have contingency contract to play, which is really nice. You get to practice stages. They're giving us constant events like Dark Knight's Memoir, the first anniversary. There's a new chapter that's going to come out soon. There's a lot of things happening and they're really trying to kind of, I guess, catch up with the CN servers, which is the original servers. But they kind of feels like a lack of multiplayer and co-op and I don't know how you would add it to Arknights that's the thing because Arknights could be a completely single player journey you could never interact with anyone if you wanted to which I think is good in a sense we can borrow friends characters we can help each other and sit together and play which actually is really fun it doesn't have any pvp any guild system if you do want to join a guild you kind of join a discord <laughs> Um, and mine is open you can join my cool guild I guess <laughs> I love a lot of the ways they kind of handle things if they've taken a very interesting take they, they've done a very interesting take on the whole use of magic and uh, we have the whole uh, like law wise and gameplay wise things are very interesting especially since we play in a kind of like tower defense grid based gameplay thing um, so it is really weird and Arknights is going to be really slow in the beginning. I'm, uh, I can say sadly that I did quit Arknights in the beginning when I started it. But after coming back to it, it's one of my favorite games. Um, and I think that as long as you enjoy the fun character, as long as you enjoy the fun characters and you like the memes and things, you can sit and enjoy the Arknight, uh, Arknights content and Arknights community. Uh, I would heavily suggest looking up some of the memes. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoyed when I started was the EXE videos. So I don't know, go check some of those out. You can also check out a lot of cool gameplay of the characters and such. Each character plays quite distinctively. There's a lot of different uses for different characters. So depending on what you get, you can build a team so differently to other people and you can approach situations in your own little way please tell me what you like about Arknights in the comments below if i missed anything now's the time you can talk about what you like and what you don't like so don't feel shy to share so if you do have any questions my discord is open you can come join you can come ask me um you can ask a lot of the community there they are very helpful <laughs> they're actually um, a lot of great people there um and we also share a lot of other games. We play a lot of, uh, we play other games. We do Among Us, uh, Advanced Tic-Tac-Toe Warfare. So <laughs> come and join and hang out. Uh, remember to subscribe. And if you want to change the color of the thumbs up button from gray to blue, just click it. That's how it works. Wow, look at that. It's like magic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye and good night. More